Welcome back to Holo Holo. I'm Kat Aniba with your top entertainment and lifestyle show for Asian Pacific Americans. The Three Cities Film Festival takes place or is actually going on now and it's one of the very few festivals where you can watch films online and in the comfort of your own home. Plus there is a conference happening in Los Angeles this Saturday which includes a ton of celebrity guest speakers and panels that you can all be a part of. Here to tell us more is the team behind the Three Cities Film Festival, Erman Barati, co-producer of the event, Eric Brian Stone, the core producer of the event, and Marianne Smith, the ho correspondent, right? Yes. <laughs> Welcome guys. Thank, Thank you. you so much for being here. No problem. <laughs> now, congratulations because this is the first time that the film festival has come into fruition. Yes. And yes, Armand, I'm going to ask you, why did you decide to put some things together? Um, well, I currently write for Events Magazine, which uh -huh. is a digital magazine. And I'm from Virginia, so I know what it's like to have to travel to these cool places, right. you know, to LA, to New York, to attend things like this. Right. So I wanted to do something for everybody else out there. And uh, so with the, me and the magazine went together and um, wanted to do wanted to do panels in right. addition to an online festival. Mm -hmm. uh, so here we are in LA, uh -huh. Saturday. We're gonna have it at downtown LA at Duthi Live. So yes. yeah, it's a, gonna be a fun experience for a bunch of panelists and attendees. So. Yeah, I actually like the fact that it's online where you can watch the film so right. you don't have to be like, okay, I have to be here at this time, at this place, mm -hmm. right. and you can watch a ton of movies. Absolutely. Eric, tell me a little bit about the films that we can see. Uh, well, it's like gonna be a lot. There's uh -huh. gonna be like shorts, there's gonna be features, there's mm -hmm. gonna be a lot of emerging talents, right. which is great, yeah. um, and it's just it's just everybody that who wanted to be in the industry, mm -hmm. they're going there, showing off their talent, showing right. off what they got to these important people that already broke in or just broke in, right. and they get to make those connections. How did the two right. of you come together to put this? Uh, I met him through Instagram last year. <laughs> yeah. actually. Um, so uh, no, I saw he had, he was on a bunch of red carpet events. So right. I was like, yeah. okay, let me let me meet this guy. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> yeah. So when I when I was starting to produce the event, mm -hmm. line up the panelists, I reached out to Eric. Said, yeah. you know, you know a bunch of people in LA. Let's right. let's get this thing going. So mm -hmm. yeah. Speaking of knowing a lot of people in LA, Marianne is one of them. Yes. Right? You're a model, a host, a spokesperson. Tell me what we can expect from the event on Saturday. So the event on Saturday, uh -huh. I'm really excited. There's going to be a, a great line up for the panel. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to help do some of the interviews mm -hmm. and write a couple of articles. Yes. And then um, for people that can't come to LA for the conference, I hear that we can actually watch it online. Is yeah. that true? Yeah, you can just go to 3CitiesFest.com three three uh -huh. to register. It's just three bucks, really. What? So, yeah. <laughs> That's, stream, actually, yeah. the entrance to the event is real affordable. Too. Ten yeah, bucks. Ten bucks yeah. if you go online now, and I think at the door it's $15. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it's not just for um, actors, but it's for writers, musicians, musicians yeah, music and song yeah. 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 Grammy nominated people, uh -huh. Emmy nominated people, yeah. just the list goes on. So yeah, anybody can go. People that Absolutely. love film, people mm -hmm. that are music. trying to break into the industry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anything. Yeah, anything. Yeah. We have, uh, you know, our panels range from music and film and television mm -hmm. to uh, emerging talents to screenwriting panel. Yeah. So there's plenty of stuff to do. And we have our opening segment mm -hmm. is a Q&A with um, a champion crew from ABDC, where I guess the best dance oh, crew. Which, mm -hmm. Uh, we are heroes. Uh, a bunch oh, of Asian Americans nice. too. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Represent, right? <laughs> yeah. So it's but something there for everybody. Yeah. Now um, I mentioned that three. It's called Three Cities yes. Film Festival. <laughs> Tell us a little bit more because it's actually happening in three different. Cities, yeah. Right? This past Saturday we kicked off uh, with a panel in New York City. Uh -huh. um, small panel, small event, but uh, we had really great connections made there with attendees and special guest speakers. Mm -hmm. um, and then right now they're in Dominican Republic right. for like a Spanish-speaking market, you know. Um, so there's panels going on there too. So. Fun. Now, um, I'm going to take it away from the Three Cities Film Festival okay. and ask about you guys a uh -oh. little bit and how you got into the uh -oh. entertainment <laughs> okay. industry. Uh -oh. Marianne's been kind of quiet. <laughs> so I'm going to okay. start with you. <laughs> so um, I actually started pursuing film and acting uh -oh. when I moved to Utah. I'm right. originally from Idaho. Oh, That's okay. where my mom's what? from. Idaho. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody leaves Idaho. No, no, no. You no. did. <laughs> So yeah, I was really excited just uh -huh. to go and pursue uh, pursue film. Right. Um, I got into my first feature film, which was with Danny Trejo, oh, called wow. Zombie Hunter. Nice. I saw that. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah. <laughs> That's when he was like, she has to be a part of this event, right? <laughs> and so I've just been really goal oriented. Uh -huh. And um, when the film side of it slowed down, um, being an actress, it's so competitive. Right. So um, I went and did. Uh, background work so I started catering on film sets doing production management yeah. <laughs> and just exploding from there on the business side uh -huh. so it all goes into each other and I started doing hosting yeah. 
What's the best um, one piece of advice you would give somebody that's trying to break into the entertainment industry? Entertainment industry, it's very, it's very competitive, uh -huh. and so the best thing to do is know your skills and stay well-rounded. Yeah. Um, study, 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 study. <laughs> Thank you, Eric. How about you? How'd you get into uh, entertainment? Uh, yeah, <laughs> he's not in it. No, uh, <laughs> I'm just like I showed up here. I've been drinking for the past hour. What? No. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I need a driver uh, to the set. There you go, right? We need an extra person. <laughs> um, but no, I moved here three years ago, uh -huh. and I had nothing, didn't know anybody, right. and I'm from Oklahoma, and uh, small town people, yeah. small town people, you know. <laughs> and then I met, ironically, uh, Caesar. He's a Filipino, uh -huh. and he actually knew people in the business, and he right. got me involved, and I was like, oh wow, because I didn't think I could get anywhere. Right. And then it started giving me confidence, and then I realized networking and meeting people mm -hmm. and it's all about who you know right. and and that's what I did and that's what I'm really good at yeah. and uh, you know networking, obviously networking that's, yeah. right? <laughs> that's what it is right there yes I totally agree with yeah. you on that yeah. Yeah. Erman what about you um well I guess okay well um, no I'm from Virginia Beach and most people know it for Pharrell and yeah. Missy Elliott and and um, Timbaland uh -huh. and some big music so I got my first internship with uh, his name is uh, uh, Malice of the Clips. Mm -hmm. uh, they're known for the song with Justin Timberlake, um, okay. Grind In. Yeah, yes. so <laughs> I, it was my first internship. From there, it kind of snowballed. Like, I had my first internship in LA, so I kind of flew across the country for a free internship. Oh, wow. Um, and then it, from there, uh, I started building up my Twitter following. Uh -huh. People people started thinking I would live in LA. So <laughs> I they did. started. I thought you did. Yeah, so they started giving me gigs. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, and it just snowballed, it kept snowballing. Yeah. And right now, I do celebrity interviews. I want to be a screenwriter, so that's my end goal. So I'm just making these connections yeah, to exactly. get to that point. So you yeah. agree, networking is everything. Absolutely. Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So make sure you go to this event that's mm -hmm. happening on Saturday. If you guys are trying to get into the entertainment industry, all you have to do is check out the website that's yeah. on your screen, right? Yeah, I go to uh, Three Cities. Fest LA .eventbrite .com. Thank you guys so much for being here today. Thank you guys. Thank, Thank you, you so much. <laughs> Again, for more information on Three Cities Film Festival, make sure to check out the website on your screen. It happens this Saturday here in Los Angeles. But if you're not here, you can actually go online. I believe it's only $3 yeah. to check out the conference yeah. and also make sure to check out the films that's screening at the festival. Time for a quick break, but don't go anywhere because Cindy J. Lee joins us with her weekly ATK segment. See you in a few.